Hey everybody, this is Philip. I'll do a quick video here about uh, my thoughts on the whole alien abduction, you know, UFO phenomena. Uh, I think about 99% of the whole UFO sightings and all that is just people misidentifying stuff, whether it be scars, planets, satellites, aircraft, you know, meteors, whatever. I think it's just, you know, a lot of people misidentifying stuff and possibly even just, you know, people with overactive imaginations, you know, I've run into a little bit of that in, in, in what I do. Uh, but with that being said, you know, that leaves us with 1%. You know, there's a lot of level-headed people out there that are reporting, you know, a lot of credible people that are reported seeing things, you know, and I really believe they have. They, they have seen something. Do I believe it is aliens from another planet? No, I don't. I believe that the whole alien uh, phenomena deal is... Uh, uh, demonic in nature and I'm speaking to you as one of those one percent I have seen things myself in the course of my lifetime it was just last year that I saw one of those big black triangles behind my house I had went outside to look at the stars I'm really big into astronomy uh, I have cameras and telescopes and video equipment you know I'm always videoing stuff through my telescope, satellites, stars, you know, moon, whatever, you know, taking pictures and all that, and I'm, I'm really big into astronomy, I have been all my life, so I can pretty much identify anything in the sky, you know, and I went out, uh, like I said, just to look at the stars, and uh, as I turned to the south, looking back in behind my cabin, I noticed some stars that didn't look right, you know, I first thought they were stars, because they just looked like lights in the sky, you know, and I'm like, wait a minute, that ain't supposed to be there, what's that, you know, <laughs> you know, what's going on here, and as I'm looking at this, these, what I thought was stars, lit up really, really bright, and when they did, they formed the shape of a triangle, one of those big, large, black triangles that you may have heard other people talk about, you know, it's thing lit up and kind of revealed itself to me, and then after, it just lit up real bright, and then just faded away and disappeared, and, uh, the feeling I took from that encounter was not, you know, hey, I just saw a flying saucer. You know, I, I looked at it as it was demonic. That's just the feeling I took from it. It was almost, when it happened, it was just like this thing was aware of me being aware of it, and it was letting me know it. You know, it wasn't just me standing there looking at some flying object. You know, there was more going on there than that, you know. And the, like I say, the feeling, the impression I got with that, from that whole encounter was it was demonic. And uh, what got me interested in doing this video was the other night on TV, there was a bunch of shows about alien abductions. And uh, I was just blown away watching those shows. You know, I mean, I, ever since I was a little kid, like a lot of boys, I've been interested in monsters and weird stuff, you know. Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, you know, aliens, ghosts, you know, that UFOs, all that, you know, that always kind of interested me and kind of stayed with me, you know, throughout my life. So, I, you know, it's something I've always kind of kept up with, you know. And anytime there's a show about something like that on TV, I will, you know, most times will watch it. And I was watching these shows about the alien abductions, and it was just blowing me away. These UFO investigators were interviewing all these people who had had these UFO encounters or felt like they were being abducted. And I was just amazed at how similar all the stories were. You know, these investigators were interviewing these people, and they were talking about they had either seen a UFO over their house, or they had seen a UFO while out driving, and it followed them around for a while. And then within two or three days, they all started having activity at their home. Well, when they started describing the activity that was going on at their home, I was just like, we're describing a demonic haunting. I mean, they were talking about hearing footsteps, doors slamming, hearing voices, seeing dark shadows moving around. One lady talked about seeing a, a dark hooded figure, you know. I mean, that's classic demonic, high-ranking demonic spirit right there, you know. I mean, as they were just describing the activity going on around in their home after having these UFO sightings, you know, I was just like, that's demonic, that's demonic, <laughs> you know, they're, they're describing the demonic haunting, you know, that I've heard a thousand times, you know, and uh, I just wanted to, like, man, I wish I could talk to these people, you know, the investigators were, you know, telling them, you know, yeah, you've had an alien encounter, you know, that's the perspective they take of all that, and I just wish I could say, man, I wish you would look at this in a spiritual perspective, you know, instead of in a UFO alien outer space perspective, you know, 
because you know these investigators, even though they were sincere, you know, uh, you know, listening to their story and everything, you know, there was nothing they could do. You know, I mean, they couldn't do nothing to help them. All they could do was just listen to their story. Whereas, you know, if I could think, you know, man, if I could get them to look at it from a spiritual perspective, maybe they could get the help they need. You know, and uh, I just, you know, that's just my thoughts on this whole alien thing. You know, I know of case after case because this is something I am interested in that where people have believed they got abducted or, you know, had that type of experience, you know, maybe they woke up in the middle of the night, saw aliens in their bedroom, or they woke up and found themselves on an operating table, you know, aliens over them. And these people happen to be Christian. And because they were Christian, you know, when they found themselves in that situation, they had enough, I guess, sense of mind or whatever that they cried out to Jesus or cried out to God to help them or for these things to get away. And in every case, the alien encounter stopped, you know, the aliens would leave their bedroom or they would, you know, be on the operating table and then they cried out to Jesus and then, boom, we're back in their bed. You know, I mean, in every case, you know, when they, these, pe these people cried out to Jesus or to God to help them or these things to go away, whatever, you know, that would stop the encounter. So that just, to me, is further proof that these are, you know, demonic, these, this whole alien phenomenon, especially the alien abduction thing, is just uh, demonic in nature. But uh, I, I just really believe that it's uh, demonic in nature. And uh, I wish people would look at it from a spiritual perspective instead of a, an outer space perspective. You know, I just, that's just the way I wish, you know, the way I believe and I wish people, other people would look at it, you know, that it is a spiritual matter, you know, of a demonic nature. But uh, that's just my thoughts on it. And uh, thanks for watching.